there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and I'm continuing with my lockdown clean up campaign. So I've been going through my cupboards, boxes and uh, at the moment pulling out all bits and pieces that haven't got a home. And uh, while I was going through it, I mean just look at it, a whole box full of joysticks, controllers, all sorts. I don't even know what's inside yet. And while I'm going through this box over here, I pulled out all of this stuff. More and more joysticks, controllers, more joysticks, controllers for all sorts of different systems. So I thought what I'd do is um, I'd go through them, pack them all out, and we can have a look at these joysticks. Well, I've packed them all out. And I have a table full of joysticks. So let's start here in this corner over here. So here we basically got PC stuff. So this is a PC Hurricane arcade stick. Um, picked it up from a flea market or a, uh, I think it was a flea market or a garage sale. And bought it primarily because of the buttons. And one day I might be able to use this and um, in an arcade project, you know, could possibly work. Um, as you can see there, it's got the PC interface. This joystick here as well, also PC. And you always see the PC ones because they can calibrate on the sides. Solid metal case, very durable. Coming down here, now we got some... This is actually a dual, can fit uh, the snares as well as it's got the normal nine what's this, this pin over here for the normal joysticks so it's sort of a dual format uh, some more Famicom arcade sticks very nice this is also for the Famicom you can see by the I think it is yeah it looks very very similar and then a host of Atari stuff you can always see by how popular system was by how much Atari paddles and joysticks that you end up picking up and uh, you can these things notorious uh, for being hard on the hands you play an Atari game for an hour or two wow it kills your hands but at the same time these things are almost near indestructible I mean they were built to last the Atari stuff this is interesting keyboard controllers so you could use these allegedly I don't know uh, to do a bit of programming or use it as a keyboard replacement on the Atari 2600 interesting and then my favorite joysticks is has to be the Spectra video range because one I owned them as a as a kid um, but at the same time they were actually very good um, so the quick shot one and the quick shot two were my favorites and you've got a couple of different color schemes and so forth I mean there's an interesting one over there it actually has and that's for this one over here it actually has interchangeable why you would want it interchangeable hand grips so you could slot these in and out these big rubber hand grips actually that's actually very very comfortable so yeah three different hand grips for the same joystick doesn't make I don't see the need for it but anyway somebody enjoyed it um, another strange little Spectra video quick shot top joystick fits in the hand very weird this is a I have purchased this to get my um, Coleco vision adapter working on my Spectra video I still haven't got it up and running I don't think the problem sitting with the joystick so this is an SV I think 103 you can see it's got the actual keypad at the bottom there which you need to get the games running on the uh, Spectra video game uh, game adapter another funny weird looking this will be for a specific type of game just got the two buttons and you got this and oh no, it is directional yeah strange looking quick shot top gamepad and then Sinclair Sinclair had to come out with its own joysticks for the Spectrum 2's and yeah so they weren't compatible with the others so you had to use those joysticks so unfortunately you were stuck with that then I remember these these from back in the day as well one of these could be one of my original ones and what I liked about them was they had um, micro switches in them 
so these are for the old good old spectrum and all the other computers back then and uh, yeah nice micro switches good movement actually quite good uh, what were they called again switch pro and then cheetah they had theirs this is a for a Commodore I think Vic or a Commodore 64 I'm not sure but it's got Commodore on it uh, these over here these are not self writing you can see there they're sort of the joystick handles stay down if you move it down up down and if look if I actually have a look at the pins this is what I saw before a Hanimex or Teleplay system uh, so they're actually very nice condition and then some flight sticks you know PC flight sticks for the propeller heads out there but otherwise yeah a whole lot of joysticks so I'm gonna give them a good dust up a clean up and uh, pack them away and I'm gonna try to put them together so that uh, and I don't think I'll ever need so many joysticks but still let me rather just arrange them and put them back in their cupboards uh, in a good order but yeah so that was a little bit of a cleanup today today's cleanup in the games room and uh, some interesting joysticks and game pads and that sort of thing that I found some of the stuff I'd even forgotten about that I actually had so it's good to always just go through and clean up a bit okay guys cheers from me and remember keep it retro